All right, welcome back everyone. It's one of the biggest home games of the season. The Mississippi State Bulldogs are preparing to take on the Alabama Crimson Tide and that means that the city of Starkville is getting ready to take on a sea of fans from both teams. Hotels are sold out and businesses are already seeing increased sales. Desmond Matthews talks to local business and tourism leaders in Starkville. He joins us live with the details. Winston, Andrea, now look, I can almost guarantee you that each one of these parking spots will be filled with fans this Saturday as the Bulldogs get ready to face what will probably be their biggest opponent in the Alabama Crimson Tide. Now, while the players are focused on what's going on on the field, local workers and sit, um, excuse me, business owners are getting ready for getting their restaurants and their bars up and running. It's a game that many have been waiting for. You know, Alabama also, their, their team travels well, so uh, we expect a lot of Crimson Tide fans here. I think it's going to be Saturday. It's going to be a day full of tailgating and uh, attending the game and cheering on our Bulldogs. Director of Tourism at the Partnership in Starkville, Paige Hunt, says they anticipate a large turnout of Alabama and Mississippi State fans to fill the streets and stands in Starkville and many have already found a place to lay their heads. Our, our hotels are always impacted anytime Mississippi State has a large event, and football weekends are absolutely no exception. Um, we have 868 hotel rooms in the city, and they are all full this weekend, and that's exciting. Some of those fans are spreading the wealth. Hotels across the Golden Triangle are sold out. We usually book out, especially for home weekends, we are booked out solid immediately. You know, we have our guests are ready and waiting, ready to push that button as soon as they know there's some availability out there. So we have been sold out now for the last couple of weeks. Stephanie Avent is the sales manager for the Hilton Garden Inn in Starkville. She's seen new faces and regulars come through the doors all season. But for a big game weekend like this, they're calling up all the reserves. Um, we may bring in a few extra hands, um, the ones that may be off at times, um, just to make sure that we have our guests fully, you know, uh, taken care of, uh, whether it be from housekeeping, you know, to breakfast. It's not just hotels that are preparing and booked up. We've been preparing for two weeks. Um, we've maxed out on our catering. We can't take any more catering. We've had to buy, uh, bring in some extra staff to help out. So it's everybody's got a place and a responsibility this weekend to be on point. The fun starts early this year. On Friday, the Crimson Tide baseball team will face off on the diamond against the College World Series champion Bulldogs for a scrimmage. Hunt is hopeful that will draw more fans and families to their downtown events. This year's online event will be on Friday night before the Alabama game, and all of our local retailers on in our downtown district stay open late, and you can buy a ticket and, and sip and see and, and shop is in downtown, and it just gets, it gets people out and about. Hunt says that tickets are still available for the Unwind event this Friday and encourages families, fans, and everyone just to stick around for a Sunday brunch at a local restaurant. Reporting live in Starkville, Desmond Matthews, WCBI News.